This is Dolan TV, guys. A big welcome to July 1st, Canada Today on the calendar 151 up here in the beautiful country that is my home. But that's besides the point today. When we're talking content on Dolan TV, you'll probably see the Canada Today vlog if I can get one out later on. But that is, we're, we're not even talking about that. We don't need to talk about that. We need to talk about free agency in the NHL and it has been a beauty so far a lot of uh, medium grade names off the board going places here there and everywhere but the Edmonton Oilers finally make their big splash and it is the St. Paul Alberta native of course you guys know I have done some work in St. Paul Alberta myself working with the St. Paul Junior B Canadians this man himself Kyle Brodziak is now a member once again after what it's been almost well, actually, just about 10 years since Kyle Brodziak was the last a member of the Edmonton Oilers. He is now back and ready to go, hopefully, for the 2018-2019 season with the copper and blue. So without further ado, I should break down exactly what we're looking at here for what the Oilers have done. They have signed Kyle Brodziak to a two-year contract. 1.1 mil for the first year, 1.2 million for the second year. He'll fit nicely in there on that second, I mean, on that fourth line center role, as well as kill some penalties for us. Why not? I think I'd much rather take Kyle Brodziak than Jason Chimera at this point. And it is working out uh, very good in our favor, I believe, to get Kyle Brodziak back. 34 years old, so he will be 35 at the end of next season mid playoffs if we end up getting back there so keep that in mind he's not 35 until season's over at next season's point so let's go back and break down Kyle Brodziak what he's all about who he is and where'd he come from obviously from Edmonton but where'd he come to and go and come back from so he's a Moose Jaw Warriors product of course playing four seasons in Moose Jaw steadily picking up his picks like I mean he was picked in 2003 round 7 214th overall so I mean for that that's a very good draft pick for the Oilers like you want to say the Oilers didn't draft well Kyle Brodziak seventh round pick actually turned out to be a very okay pick in the couple of years he played in Edmonton spent 0304 in Moose Jaw put up 93 points in 70 games played and then the AHL season where things got mixed around lockout year uh, 32 points in 56 games in his first year in pro hockey then played for the Iowa Stra Stars 31 points in 55 games in 0506 made 10 appearances with the Oilers was a minus four and had four penalty minutes that's all literally that's the stats sheet for Kyle Brodziak at that point then played with Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins 56 points in 62 games and got a goal for the Edmonton Oilers in 06-07. Kind of that lost year, right? They were hot off the start and then just things slipped away. The Ryan Smith trade, a bad year for the Edmonton Oilers all around. And that's where the dark ages began. So let's talk about the other two dark years that Kyle Brodziak spent in Edmonton. Putting up 31 points in 80 games played with the Edmonton Oilers in 07-08. 14 goals or 17 assists, like I said, 31 points. It was a minus six. Dark years, don't blame him. And then he got the last year he played in Edmonton, 11 goals, 16 assists, 27 points, and a plus four. Only 21 penalty minutes that season. So this guy is not a penalty guy taker earlier on in his career. Kind of got up there, but he's still averaging out around that 35, 36 penalties in minutes. Per year so it's not a bad pickup like I'm saying I'll keep explaining and then you've got the Minnesota Wild years from 09 10 to 14 15 where he got a career high of 44 points as I read off a of hockey DB here if you're wondering where I'm getting my stats there were three or one two two years in the 30 point range and everything else in the 20 point range for a full season other than in 12-13 when he played only 48 games and had 12 points and a minus 18. That's rough, but hey, it is what it is. 
at that point, you know, you're not in the lineup all the time. Things happen, right? That's that's a problem. And then, of course, he went off to St. Louis for the past three years, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18. And he has kind of resurrected his career again there. He was down, down, down for 16 or 15, 16, and 16, 17, where he was 11 points and 15 points back-to-back years. And then last year, this past season, he really turned it back on as my cat's losing her mind. And uh, 33 points in 81 games played for the St. Louis Blues. And he was a plus 13. Again, 33 penalty minutes, so don't blame him there. I'm going to quickly check this. My cat jumps up. You guys see how this works out. And so that's Kyle Brodziak in a nutshell. Now the bigger question is, where does Kyle Brodziak fit in? And what does he do for the Edmonton Oilers this season? Well, that is a pretty easy question to answer. He'll be a centerman who shoots right-handed, so he's a good fourth-line centerman. Then you got to believe the Oilers' penalty killing, that's always been an issue, and especially was last year. That backdoor tap play was open, open, open all season long. Can't really blame them. They didn't have bona fide penalty killers, but at 209 and 6 feet, Kyle Brodziak is a lot of man to put in front of a puck on the penalty kill, or... Five on five when you're just trying to get a grinding line out there like think about Zach Cassian and somebody else whoever's going to fill that right wing left wing position on the fourth line there's a couple great options out there in free agency but I think the Oilers are likely to fill it from within the organization and we'll find out who they use that but Kyle Brodziak Zach Cassian on a line together I think that's a very very good combination I'd like to see if I could find Kyle Brodziak's hit stats if you guys want to stick with me for a second hit stats there we go let's get that going stats hockey reference there we go that's the one we need we need hockey reference for a second and hits so this last season Kyle Brodziak put up a total of 83 hits which is a career high in 81 games played so the guy all of a sudden starts throwing the body again and then at an older age gets the point total back up so going into his 35 year season even though he will turn 35 years old at the end of the year if he's going to throw the body be that guy that just needs to get the job done you know there's the grinders in hockey and then there's the guys that go out there heart hustle and soul on the ice and get the job done Kyle Brodziak He's been an Oiler before. I liked him back then. I think he's going to be a very, very valuable asset for the Oilers come down the long stretch of next season. I mean, early on, he'll be maybe in and out of the lineup as we experiment with some young kids and whatnot. But I think he'll be a bona fide fourth line center for us. And if not, hey, to have him as an extra body on the bench or up in the rafters, that is not a bad option either at 1.1 mil. It's not a bad contract either. So 1.1 mil for this season, 1.2 mil for the next season, a 2.3 mil contract. Kyle Brodziak shores up the fourth line. I don't think the Oilers could do much better bargain hunting in free agency than finding Kyle Brodziak as they have. So guys, if I'm going to break down this tri or this signing as easy as I can make it for you guys, the Oilers are a winner for making this signing. 100% the Oilers are going to be a lot better off. Now they just need to figure out that right wing position that could easily be solved by trading away Milan Lucic and getting some cap space going. Find a right winger, find a left winger, and all of a sudden this Edmonton Oilers team is a cup contender. And I'm not saying with Milan Lucic they're not, but they easily just need to finish off and get Lucic out of town in my perspective of things bring in that cap space be able to maneuver get a right winger get the left winger and all of a sudden all is good and done anyway guys i have taken up way too much of your time i am tyson this is doll on tv stay tuned hopefully some more oilers updates maybe a milan Lucic update like i was saying right so guys i'm up on over here if you enjoyed what you've seen hit that subscribe button hit the like button and i will catch you guys as always in the next one.